Hi, in this video you will be asked 20 hard questions. So, if you're ready, let's get started. Who was the first to take to the air on a broomstick at the first flying lesson? The first to take to the air was Neville Longbottom. Mr. Longbottom. What body part did Neville Longbottom break when he fell off his broomstick? When he fell off the broom, he broke his wrist. Oh dear, it's a broken wrist. Come on now. Up Where did Malfoy want to hide the remember all that fell out of Neville Longbottom's pocket? Malfoy wanted to hide it on the roof of the castle. Give it here, Malfoy. No. I think I'll leave something for Longbottom to find. How about the roof? Who did Professor McGonagall introduce Harry Potter to when she took him away from his flying lesson? Minerva introduced him to Oliver Wood. Potter, this is Oliver Wood. Wood, I have found you a seeker. Who did Harry Potter become after meeting Oliver Wood besides a seeker? Potter becomes the youngest Quidditch player in the last hundred years. Seeker? But first years never make the house teams. You must be the youngest Quidditch player in a century, according to McGonagall. Who was a beaters on the Gryffindor Quidditch team? The beaters were the Weasley twin brothers. Done, Harry Woods just told us. Fred and George are on the team too. Beaters. What is the role of beaters in the game of Quidditch according to Fred and George Weasley? The beaters are there to make sure Harry doesn't bleed too much. Our job is to make sure that you don't get bloodied up too bad. Can't make any promises, of course. Rough game, Quidditch. Who else in the Potter family has been a seeker? <laughs> Harry's father, James Potter, was a seeker. Whoa. Harry, you never told me your father was a seeker, too. What spell did Hermione cast to open the door on the third floor? Hermione cast Alohomora. Alohomora! Who or what was behind the door Hermione opened? Behind the door lay a three-headed dog that looked like Cerberus. It was locked, and for good reason. How many players are on each team in the game of Quidditch? There are seven players on each team. Quidditch is easy enough to understand. Each team has seven players, three chasers, two beaters, one keeper, and the seeker. How many types of balls are there in Quidditch? There are three types of balls in the game. There are three kinds of balls. This one's called the Quaffle. What is the name of the object that Harry Potter must catch in the game of Quidditch?
The item is called a snitch. Is this the golden snitch? What do I do with it? You catch it before the other thing seeker. You catch this, the game is over. Which art does Professor Phileas Flitwick consider to be one of the easiest in magic? <laughs> Professor Flitwick thinks it is levitation. One of the wizard's most rudimentary skills is levitation, or the ability to make objects fly. Which student was the first to use magic to lift a feather in the levitation class? The first was Hermione Granger. Wingardium Leviosa. What monster escaped from the dungeon and terrified all of Hogwarts? Was a troll. I think the trolls left the dungeon. In what part of the troll's body did Harry Potter put his wand? He stuck his wand in the troll's nose. Why did Minerva McGonagall give Harry and Ron five points each after defeating a troll? For dumb luck. Five points will be awarded to each of For sheer dumb luck. What did the owl bring to Harry Potter in the dining hall? It brought him a Nimbus 2000 broom. It's a broomstick. That's not just a broomstick, Harry. It's a Nimbus 2000. Which two teams met in the first match of Quidditch? <laughs> Team Slytherin and Team Gryffindor. Hello and welcome to Hogwarts first Quidditch game of the season. Today's game, Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Choose the next quiz. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, or I'll turn you into a frog.